Arkansas is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Gets to about the 17-yard line. For TCU, tell us what we should be on the lookout for from their offense. They go with the spread. One of the things I really like about this is how it thins out a defense up front by getting so many receivers across the field. Whether they're running or passing, the defense can't be focused at the point of attack. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Stewart drops back to pass. And he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. And it's knocked away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. They come out in a five-wide set. Stewart set to go to the air. No catch. He's out of bounds. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. tackled right away. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. Look for it on the ground, and he's not going to get there. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Toss is left. Intercepted. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. He's hit and taken down, and they'll go with a no huddle. And this one's broken up. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Woo! I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. Stewart sets up the play action. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Our score after the field goal. TCU, three. Arkansas, nothing. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The score here at Amon G. Carter Stadium is TCU 3, Arkansas nothing. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. Thanks, Brad. So far, this game has been stressful for each offensive coordinator. Both told me during halftime that they feel just a couple of scores might be enough to win this one, but it won't come easy if the first half is any indication. And for TCU, they haven't been able to get a hand on the quarterback as they have yet to record a sack. Brad? Man wide open, in and out of his hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. And they got him. The safety comes up with a nice sack. Yes, he does. Here he comes clean on the blitz and got to the quarterback before he had a chance to really go through his progression. Nice play for this defense. Booming kick. Sean fields it at the 41. How about the coverage there? Just a great job there by the punt team to get downfield and make the play on the return man before he could get loose. They'll set up shop at the 45. We've got a first and 10. TCU is up a field goal. He's going to try to throw. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Let's see if they can get the quarterback to attempt to pass this time. Believe me, that one probably looked a million times better when they ran it in practice. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The score here at Amon G. Carter Stadium is the Horned Frogs, three, the Razorbacks, nothing. We have less than a minute to go. He drops back, throws incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Hawkins to punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They take over after the punt, needing to put some points up on the board. This is it. A field goal will tie it, and a touchdown will most likely win it. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He makes the catch and has a first down. Arkansas just took their first time out from their own 33-yard line. First down. Drops back on first down. Great concentration. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. They come out on an empty backfield. And it's knocked away. from their own 44-yard line. Second down. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. The student section's going crazy. This one's going deep to the end zone. May sound obvious, but it's really hard to throw an accurate pass when you're being rushed like that. They come out in a five-wide set. He's looking to pass. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. A huge defensive stand, and they take away the ball and the threat to hang on to their slim lead. This is how you win football games. Outstanding team defense. Everybody was lined up where they needed to be when the ball was in the air. They were not going to allow anybody to make the catch. He'll go down to one knee. Arkansas will use their final timeout. He kneels it down again.
Across the border from Juarez in El Paso, Texas, and the Sun Bowl, the site for our incredible game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Brooks has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. White has it at the five. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. A little toss across the middle. The 50 at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Let's give some credit to the big boys up front. They held off the blitz just long enough for the quarterback to make the connection and pick up some good yards. It's the tailback. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They come out in a goal line set. Hands up up the middle and stuffed. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. He may have changed things up here. Francis on the option left side. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Looks to the end zone. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. This one should be makeable. This one from about 23 yards out. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. New Mexico is ready to kick it away. Taken at the five. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Complete at the 40, at the 30, to the 20. And they finally push him out at the 10-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Brown options out to the right. Nice run there. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. It's second down. Here we go from the three-yard line. UTEP just took their first time out. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Option play. Oh, what a hit. So they'll lose yards this time. Well, here they run the exact same option play. The defense does a nice job here of recognizing it, and they're able to come up with a big play. The option left. He makes it to the six-yard line. This is the time to open up your playbook and do something unpredictable. So I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish right here. And he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 44. 
That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The offense will take over at the 26. He's got it! At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Steps out of bounds, and that'll give him a first and goal. It's first and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. They'll run the option. Nothing doing that time. Defenders stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. They're crowding the line. Brown, options out. The offensive coordinator thought he could slip in another option call, just like the last one. But this defense is well prepared. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. Looks like an option here. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. This is it. They need. Yards for the touchdown here on fourth down. Texas El Paso will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Smith on the option right. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. They'll take over at the seven-yard line. We've got a first and ten. They go with a run, and he's taken down behind the line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. They line up in the jumbo set. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. A two-yard run by the halfback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Finds his man. First down. It's a brand new ball game once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge. Now it's their game to win. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two point conversion. Smith drops back, scrambling around. He's in for the conversion. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Rose, and it's knocked away. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21. Smith picks up about four yards with a catch. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15.
Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down at the 11. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you'd like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Here's the tight end. Drops. Nice defensive play that time. The key to this play defensively is the timing of the hit. Watch how he got in there right when the ball arrived and broke it up. That's a good play. Francis steps back to pass. It was the safety who came from the secondary who made the sack. Man, this is an aggressive defense. Another blitz, and again, it works out. They send guys from everywhere to get to this quarterback. Here's the back. Nowhere to go. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. So they'll get one last stab at tying this up. And it's knocked down. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? This is the kind of game you just love if you're a fan. Exciting, hard fought, coming right down to the end, and then some. UTEP was looking at a mirror image across the field today. I'm not at all surprised that this game went on as long as it did.